Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. As always, many things have happened in the wide world of LEGO and the greater community. This week includes pictures of the new Child set. The Skywalker Saga gameplay looks amazing, plus there's going to be an exclusive fig to go along with it. We still can't talk about the Harry Potter Diagon Alley until Monday, but they did tease one of the figs officially. The Razorcrest might be changing its name, the actual set at least. Bleak Collection, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it correctly. And a couple of new sets got voted in to ideas. But before we jump into all of the top stories of the week, first I do want to say that the custom build that went up in the web store this week is the Shuttle Tiderium Ultimate Collector Series. Originally designed from Marshall Banana and instructions done by MGF71. I'm tempted to call this the Ultimate Ultimate Collector Series Shuttle Tiderium just because when you look at it next to the original UCS set from 20. 10, the differences are rather drastic. Proportionally, this model is much more accurate. Detail-wise, there really is no comparison. It is just chock full of immensely complex greebling. And of course, it's got motorized wing functions because why, why wouldn't it? I'm really glad to see that the rest of the community so far is really into the design. If you did want to build it for yourself, instructions can be found at our web store, www.brickfault.toys. Great way to help support the channel. There go my keys. Great way to help support the channel. And now let's jump into the top stories of the week. Let's keep it up with Star Wars. I originally saw this from Promo Bricks. The child from The Mandalorian has been found in store. Set number 75318. The price tag shows roughly 80 euro. And it looks like the build style for the child is pretty similar to the last UCS Yoda that we got not too long ago. The build quality seems fine. And it looks like just the ears can move up and down. I guess they didn't want to add angry eyes like they did for Yoda last time. So what do you guys think about this set? Is Lego just printing money by making the set or is Baby Yoda not quite cute enough for you? Personally, I think it's fine. It's nothing super wowing. And if you scour the internet for other custom Baby Yoda builds that have come out, there are some that look arguably a little cuter. I suppose it's really up to you though. The rumor is that this set is going to be released in November. And then this week, uh, the Skywalker Saga gameplay trailer was released. Not gonna lie, it, it actually has me pretty stoked. I definitely want to play this. And then on top of that, they are going to be releasing a deluxe edition of this game. The character collection bundle pack will be included. All in all, that's six DLC character packs for The Mandalorian, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Sorry, that's a weird title. Anyways, that's what I'm reading here in Star Wars, The Bad Batch, plus more. The packaging for the deluxe edition will have the removable helmet for Darth Vader, which is a nice touch, but really, uh, I think the main thing that would draw us personally here at the studio is that it's also going to come with a blue milk Luke Skywalker with a special face print to show that he's been drinking blue milk. So speaking of Lego just printing money, uh, this is probably going to be one of their more successful ventures, I have a feeling. The game looks cool. Everything about the deluxe edition just seems like a pretty decent incentive. And the Skywalker Saga, they say, will be available uh, spring 2021. Quick update about the Razor Crest set that is scheduled to come out soon. Apparently the Razor Crest is not officially trademarked by Lucasfilm in Europe or something, which means the European retailers had to change the name of the set, and now the set has gone off of the shop at home in the States as well, making people think that they might just do a single name change for the set across the board. I don't know if this is just like a total mess up. I think it is, like initially it was, they didn't get the official licensing, and now I guess it's just sort of causing a pain for a bunch of people. I wonder now if the original box with the Razor Crest has been printed at all or if it can be found at some point those would be pretty darn collectible and frankly this is just a small hiccup I hope it doesn't delay further delay the release of this set now let's move on over to Harry Potter you guys have seen what the new collectible minifigures look like very quickly the box distribution is not official for these figs apparently each box it's like totally random some boxes of 64 don't even have a single version of one of the characters anyways it's interesting that it's totally random this time I'd be curious to know if this is going to be the new way for collectible series in the future. And now let's move on to Diagon Alley. Officially, the pictures still can't be shown. And then Lego made an announcement for the announcement that the uh, official picks and the set uh, will be announced for Monday at 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So officially, this is the only image I'm allowed to show you, which is the Daily Profit Photographer, one of the exclusive figs for the next set coming up. So I'm sure you're going to be completely bored with having looked at all the official pictures until next uh, Saturday when we pour over 
the giant Diagon Alley set that's coming down the line. In more news, community news, which can be kind of interesting, the LEGO World Builder has been announced. It's powered by Tongle, or LEGO has partnered with Tongle, and it's different from ideas, it's different from LEGO Lab, but kind of similar in the sense that uh, you pitch certain ideas now to LEGO and the community can log in, talk about, collaborate, and flesh out larger ideas for possible future LEGO ventures, including video games or themes or basically anything cool that you think LEGO could or should be doing in the future, you could actually start fleshing out. The interesting part about this is that some official LEGO designers will also be part of this community. And if your idea gets popular enough and LEGO likes it and the design team feels passionate enough about pursuing it, they could possibly buy your new idea for maybe the next LEGO theme coming out. They released a video that uh, goes into a little bit more detail on how it works. I've left the full press release also linked in the description below. Anyways, we're moving on now to the September store calendar. Remember that announcement for Monday about the Diagon Alley? Well, during September 1st to the 15th, with a purchase of $100 or more, you can get the Brickheads Hagrid and Buckbeak set. Plus, with a purchase of $40 or more, you get the Owl Delivery set as well. So clearly, these would be the two gift with purchase items if you were to buy the Diagon Alley in the first half of the month. Or of course, while supplies last, you do have to add that. From the 7th to the 13th, a free Lego Monkey Kids Delivery Bike Set will be uh, a gift with purchase for $35 or more. And from the 16th to the 30th, a free Lego Creator Cat with a purchase of $35 or more. Or remember, all while supplies last. There's a few other little things included for the calendar, but not really. You can check them out in the description below if you want to see more. And then uh, the Lego IKEA Bleck Collection has officially been revealed. We showed some pictures of it being sold in stores a few weeks back, and now Lego has revealed a little video along with a lot of professional uh, more proper photos to show ideas on how they think people could or should be using these somewhat glorified storage containers. That's sort of what they seem like to me. They're basically white containers with studs on the handles, studs on the top, and it's pretty simplistic, but I also really like the idea that they're just super cheap. They're actually really convenient. So if you just wanted some white, relatively unobtrusive storage containers, these aren't going to be costing you very much at all, and they're also LEGO compatible. The creative ideas that they show off in these photos are pretty simplistic, but I like that they're so simplistic that they wouldn't stick out in a weird way and look like out of place, maybe, if you had them in a normal house setting. And all in all, this feels like a fun little idea. Ideas! Let's segue over to LEGO ideas. Two new New sets got 10,000 votes of support. This first one is Naruto Ichiraku Ramen Shop. Dad I Twins is the builder, and it's actually a pretty cool looking set in terms of build quality, stylistic choices, and overall layout. They made a nice promotional video, so uh, I definitely see why people got into this. Naruto, I think, is a pretty popular anime, or at least was, and the quality and color and life to this uh, set seems to really be there. Anyways, I don't know if you're a fan of the show, I don't really know much about it. The set does look interesting, and it's a pretty quality build, and the same can be said for the second idea that got 10,000 votes of support, which is Temple of Hermit. Brickfornia is the designer, and this is a real five-storied pagoda in Japan. Each level has a different element represented, and there's some wonderful details included. Generally, I just like the color combination. The darker red uh, pops well against the dark green, and both of these sets join an insanely long list that is up for the next review stage for ideas. Congrats to both the builders for getting those 10,000 votes of support, and if you go check in through the description in our video, there are a couple of stories that I did not have time to get to. Remember to check out our web store www.brickfault.toys for amazing LEGO custom creations. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Top 10 mocks of the week I think is going to be starting on Mondays now. Thank you so much for watching everybody and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.